Welcome back for another video. My name is Josh Kassig and today is my Eureka 7 review. Now here it is. This is my DVD copy. Uh, to, uh, this, this, uh, the main character is Renton here. And then uh, the show's title uh, is Eureka. Uh, that's this girl here. Uh, she, the one bl uh, blue, she's Eureka. And then the uh, the other girl is uh, Memone. She is a antagonist. I wouldn't say totally out villain, but she does become a good person or at the end of the show. Um, and but yeah, it's a now on the back it says the greatest love story ever animated. Um, I don't, I've seen a lot of animation, and love-wise, I definitely have to agree that this, this, uh, has a brilliant love story, uh, and, like, I can't, like, it, like, it's, I, it, it's just that good. I don't know if it's, like, you know, just the greatest love story ever, but it's definitely, I, I, from what I've seen, definitely a great love story, um, uh, but, uh, now... Essentially, what you got is you Renton. His name is Renton Thurston, and his father uh, is a hero, and uh, but he died a hero essentially. He he he's cast of heroes because he sacrificed himself to save others, um, and he that that's the, but that kind of has a problem for him. Because he doesn't have his father there, right? And he doesn't know what his father's like, really. He left, obviously died. And, you know, people talk about, oh, he's a hero, he's a hero. And, you know, Renton, he, it's like, it's kind of been a problem for him because of that. Uh, that, you know, uh, because, uh, uh, why, it's like, why? Like, why, why, and... What was the reason behind things? And his sister, who was kind of raised him because their mother died, like, uh, way before that. And I think before his father died a hero. Um, and so his sister kind of raised him with, but, like, they had their grandfather there, too. But then her sister, his sister disappeared because he, she was trying to find the reasons behind um, what, or try to figure out why their father, uh, did what he did, you know, or figure out, there's more plot to it, but I don't want to go into full details, but the, uh, but, but Renton's main goal is that he wants, he works with his grandfather as, you know, help him, uh, you know, he, their mechanics, right, that's their main thing, they so they, you know, build stuff and, or fix things and stuff like that, and but Renton wa loves lifting, which uh, is essentially sky surfing. They can't surf because they're not. Uh, they, they, it's there's no oceans out there, but there's water. I mean, people still need water to uh, drink and stuff, but it's it's a uh, not Earth. It's on a different planet. Um, the idea is that well, we yes and no. Uh, you get the. I'm not going to go full details what that's supposed to be. Do you have to watch the show? Uh, you would understand it, but um, but it's a, the meaning beginning understanding is that it's a different planet, uh, and that humans left Earth because of a problem and colonized this planet is what the show originally wants you to think. Um, eventually, that change ch changes with the truth. What the truth really uh, gets revealed. Um, like I said, I'm not going to say what the real truth is, but, um, that's kind of essentially, and, but Renton, he, he want like I said, he wants to lift, he wants to go, sorry about that, um, yeah, so he wants to lift, but he, he wants, you know, of go on adventure, and his goal is to get in the Gecko State, and, um, he, and eventually the Gecko State hits his house, because they had, uh, his Grandfather is holding a device that was once his dad's. Sorry about that. Something happened. Um, back to where was I? The they has a device that would help this nerva this thing called the Nervosh, which is a mech, but it's like living. Um, and it's somewhat piloted by a girl, the girl named Eureka. And Eureka, they hit the place. Uh, uh, Eureka actually has a hard time controlling the uh 
their Russia egg crashes and um, they uh, they uh, they get the device uh, that's it's kind of a love at first sight or you know Renton sees Eureka and instantly like falls in love with her which it's you know you could say that's a little ham-handed um, but sometimes you know when you look at someone Sometimes you do have that feeling, like right? you're immediately attracted to them, and you don't know why. And I, I think that that's I, so. I do. I think that stuff really does happen. Not that you know they you know it always works out in the end, but you do have that sometimes. Like that just happens, and um, and that's kind of thing. And but we don't really know much about Eureka, and Eureka doesn't really know seem to know much about herself either. It's like. Um, and, uh, which is really, like, interesting, but, you know, eventually, uh, over time, like, basically, uh, uh, Renton leaves with the Gecko State against his grandfather's wishes, and, um, because he wants to protect Eureka, and that device, he takes the device and puts it on the Nervosh, and it activates its, like, uh, activates its hidden potential. And it also sets is a thirsted device. The ship starts to reciprocate more. It starts to more, um, how do I say that, kind of more go to Renton than Eureka, which causes Eureka, Eureka to have some problems um, because uh, she's no longer connecting with the Nervosh as it's, a, uh, you know, like I said, it's kind of living. And this, she's already kind of has mental health issues and th this just doesn't help but you know Re uh, Renton he really wants to protect Eureka that's his entire thing throughout the show and that that protection and you know trying to you know wor working with Eureka and, and you know trying Eureka kind of starts to realize uh, you know because she starts to understand the emotions more um because she doesn't really understand a lot of these she's naive she's about the same age as Renton I think maybe a year or two maybe a year or two older um but uh yeah so she starts to understand emotions more and eventually you know working with Renton and stuff and turns into wanting to work with Renton and and because he she sees his what he's tried to do, or um, um, and eventually the, she starts to reciprocate his feelings. Uh, and but the Gecko State is trying to fight the government. They used to be part of the government, and they left the government uh, because the government is is not is actually bad uh, in this in this uh, show there, um, uh, and then it gets taken over by a person named Dewey who is even bad because on uh, the planet. And they don't have surfing, but all their ability to fly and stuff is run by this thing called trapping, which is a power coming from a planet uh, who basically is living in a sense that they're called Corellians. And we find out that Rekka is actually a Corellian. Um, she is, so she's not human, but she was created by the Corellians hum in a humanoid form. She, they, she was created in a humanized form so that she could communicate with the humans because the crowds want to communicate with humans um, and it's really interesting and, and despite knowing that you know Renton still d doesn't really care if she's not human and I think that's just beautiful like uh, it's I, I think it's another lesson another kind of lesson that we really need to learn as humans is that like so what about the differences like why does it matter and I and, like to why does it ma it's just a difference right um, and that that's my opinion is like th this kind of shows like it doesn't matter what you are and that in I think that's I think that's I think that's beautiful uh, it's definitely really beautiful but uh, yeah and so, you know, eventually they do reciprocate their feelings, 
and it, 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 it's they do get together now she also has children but not biological children children that she saved um from a battlefield because like I said, she, she she was created by the Corellian, so she doesn't understand human feelings. And so that's why, um, you know, when she learns feelings. and um, and But she she was in a battle, uh, she was put in a battle with the Nervosh, and she killed people. And when she saw the children, these three children, uh, and they were kind of bleeding, it opened that to open her eyes. And... So she's no longer kind of a robotic thing. Like she, she starts. That's kind of her process of learning to become more human. So she kind of adopts the children, not physically, uh, not like literally, or at least not yet, anyway. But uh, at the end of the show, you know, Renta and her do end up together, and it impl at the end, the ending implies that they did get married and actually officially adopt those children. Now the children didn't really like Renton because you know Renton is trying to get with what they call, you know, her, they call her mommy, obviously, and they don't like rented, kind of intruding, but eventually they also, at the end of the series, call him Papa, and, which is cool, I, I think, I think it should have happened maybe a little bit earlier than it did, because, they, but, I, I, it was good, uh, but, yeah, and not only, not only is that relationship, the writing itself is really good, uh, and also Renton, he does he don't, he thought the Gecko State was all about battling, or not battling, all about this fun time. But he realized that it isn't, and that it's a lot more violent and harsh, and that kind of like at first bothers him to the point where he has to leave. But he comes back, um, and you know he really makes this while beyond gecko state he ages you know he not ages physically but like mentally he becomes older uh because he's growing up and and i think that is the like i said the and all the other characters in the show are just brilliantly written with full of emotions and relatable and that I think it's just a brilliant, well-told story that is nothing like you would find in America. It it has all the action, sci-fi, laser, all that type of battles you would find here in America, but it has heart. It has good writing. It has emotions, and I think that's why I feel that all Americans should watch this show. And that's just my opinion. It is a beautiful, red story with love. Also, Nemine, like I said, she's an antagonist. Uh, he, uh, she's an antagonist, but she actually at the end because a good person and uh, she uh, because she starts uh, Dominic a, a character also turns good uh, she, He has feelings for Nemine and she starts replicating for him and they end up together as well at the end as On the good side of things and but yeah, it, it's like I said really well written. I say everyone should watch it and uh, Yeah, it's pretty much all my thoughts I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, uh, leave a like. If you are new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified for my next upload. My YouTube channel, website link, my Twitter, my Snapchat, and my Instagram are all in the description as always. And thank you. Goodbye. We'll